Today I am going to discuss what how to dump SQL file in Navigate. So opening Navigate ID and here you can see this is the list of connection MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, MongoDB. So clicking on here Oracle then HR database that I am going to do the dump. So right click there then you can see here dump SQL files. So we have two options a structure and data. So if I click on this a structure and data uh, then this is asking what the location so this I am going to do on HR or oh, sorry desktop and this is here file name HR you should give uh, any meaningful name so HR that's fine and here the format is now dot square click on this save and now you can see this is a start to uh, doing or uh, start dumping so table view synonyms create synonyms record and transferring this all things that is now happening okay at this uh, location okay so now you can see there is no any errors and transfer it one files and uh, here finished successfully click on this close and now you can see there is the hr files after that to uh, uh, when i Double click on there. So I wanna see the what exactly is so dumped from or navigate ID. So it's uh, currently open in SSMS. So let's uh, give here password. Now you can see this is the dumping thing or this place. Wait one second. And now let's click on connect. So this is the dumping thing here. Okay. And uh, you can see there is the date 6 5 20 23. And today is the same things. And this is the timings. So now SQL Server and this is your Oracle kind of things. And to first drop HRCT then create the city tables and inserting the records inside there on the city tables and after that when I scroll down then you can see their list of information this is doing some insert operation on the city underscore tables uh, and uh, this all uh, records are uh, there and uh, after that uh, this is for insertion of uh, now then or doing the drop on the countries tables, create the countries, organization, this is the index or uh, there and the primary key, foreign key insert or uh, the records inside the countries tables, then department for that's for and this is doing the drop, then create the department, then uh, commit and insert the record inside the department tables. Okay, and this here or uh, drop table employees, create the employees tables and uh, this is the operation is going on this is the comment on hr employees and uh, this primary case thereafter inserting the record inside the employees table and this for jobs and here insert the record jobs comment this all or displaying this place now uh, this is the first option then uh, we can go another option also so this i'm going to use uh, here or uh, mysql double click on this mysql then this i'm going to use here circular or uh, circular and this is the list of tables inside there so right clicking and dumping a structure only so a structure and uh, here let's give a meaningful name mysql underscore circular let's click on this save so this is uh, start doing and it's uh, completed only 75 and this is the timing and this all create and successful masses click on this close and now see what exactly that has been done or double click on this 
my square underscore circular. So this is opening now. So this is the most uh, simplest way we can term HR or any a schema or there. So oh, let's click on connect. Now you can see this is the date and my SQL and uh, here if I scroll down or oh, this or oh, this I'll oh, only did here only a structure not the data so you can see there is the structure of customer countries employees film and the film actor or uh, film category film text uh, inventory and language are there so render tables uh, stops this all there okay so this is how we can do the dumping of sql files in navigate id so it's too easier than so I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now this video is over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.